Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to create this Elementor slider using the Elementor Flexbox Container Layout. I'm using the Flexbox Container Layout because it will soon replace the current section column and inner section layout of the Elementor editor. This WordPress slider has vertical pagination with a video lightbox player as well as a short text summary on each slide. Furthermore, I'll show you how to make this free slider responsive for tablets and mobile devices. To create the same Elementor slider as shown here, you will be required to install one more free plugin that is Elementskit besides the free version Elementor page builder. By the way, if you have considered purchasing a pro version of the Elementor plugin, then please consider purchasing via my affiliate link given in the description, in this way, you will help me to keep running this channel without costing you any additional money. To install the required plugins, first, go to the WordPress dashboard, then hover over the plugins tab, and then click on add new. Now just type Elementskit in the plugin search field. Here you will get a plugin with the same name by WPMET, simply install and activate this plugin. To create the Elementor slider, open the same page with Elementor on which you want to create free Elementor slider. Now, insert a container where you want to create your slider. Let's call it Testimonial Parent Container. Now under the Layout tab, set the item's direction to column, align items to center, and justify content to center. After that, go to the Style tab, then set the background color to white. Next, go to the Advanced tab, then unlink and set the top bottom padding to 70 pixels, the rest should be zero. Now insert a container within the Testimonial Parent container, then duplicate and make two more copies of the newly inserted container. Now, the first container will be referred to as the heading container, the second as the slider parent container, and the third as the client logo container. Next, select the heading container, then under the layout tab, Set the item's direction to column, align items to center, and justify content to center. Now, go to the Advanced tab, then unlink and set the bottom padding to 40 pixels, the rest should be zero. Next, insert a heading. Then enter the heading text. and do the rest styling as I'm doing. Now, let's start with the client logo subsection before moving on to our custom Elementor slider. To do so, select the client logo container then set the width to 840 pixels and the minimum height 100 pixels. Now expand the item setting, then set the direction to row. Next, insert a container within the client logo container and label it as client logo. While the client logo is selected, go to the items, then set the align items to center and justify content to center. Next, go to the Style tab, then do the styling as I'm doing. After this, go to the Advanced tab, then unlink and set the left-right padding to 10 pixels, the rest should be zero, as well as enter the CSS class as mine in the CSS classes field. 
Now insert an image widget within the client logo. Then insert the client logo in transparent PNG format. Here make sure to keep all the client logos with a 3 to 1 aspect ratio. Now, duplicate the client logo from the navigator section to make 5 copies. And then replace the client logo with another client's logo. Next, select and duplicate the client logo container. Then delete the excess client logos. And then change the logo's image as above. Now select the second duplicate client logo container, then set the width to 680 pixels. Now that we have successfully created the client logo subsection, let's create our free testimonial slider. To do so, select the slider parent container, then go to the layout tab, set the items direction to column, align items to center, and justify content to center. While the slider parent container is selected, insert a container. Let's call it the swiper container. Next, while the swiper container is selected, set the content width to full width, as well as the width to 82%. Now, click on the advanced tab, and then enter the same class as mine in the CSS classes field. Now insert a container within the swiper container. Let's call it swiper wrapper container. Next, while the swiper wrapper container is still selected, go to the layout tab. Set the direction to column, and wrap to no wrap. Now, click on the advanced tab, and then enter the same class as mine in the CSS classes field. Now insert a container within the swiper wrapper container. Let's call it swiper slide. Next, while the swiper slide is still selected, go to the layout tab and set the direction to row. After that, go to the advanced tab, then set the padding to 50 pixels and enter the same class as mine in the CSS classes field. Now insert a container within the swiper slide. Let's call it video container. Next, while the video container is selected, go to the layout tab. Under the container option, set the container width to full width, width to 50%, and minimum height to 300 pixels. Now click on the items option. Then set the align items to center, and justify content to center. Now duplicate the video container from the navigator, and rename it to the comment container. Next, while comment container is still selected, go to the layout tab. Set the align items to flex start, and the content gap to zero pixels. Now, within the comment container, insert an icon a text editor, and a heading. Now customize all three widgets one by one as I'm doing.
Next, select the video container. Then go to the Style tab and set a background image that has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio. After that, set the background setting repeat to no repeat and background to cover. Next, expand the border setting. Then set the border radius to 10 pixels and set the box shadow as mine. Now insert an eKit video widget within the video container. Next, go to the content tab, then change the icon if you wish. Enter the video link and enable whatever feature you needed. Now go to the style tab then under the button style, do the rest as I'm doing. Now that we have successfully customized our custom elemental slider for desktop view, let's style our WordPress testimonial slider section for tablet and mobile view. To do so, Select the responsive mode from the bottom left corner, then select the tablet view from the top of the screen. Next, adjust the settings as I am doing. After you have finished with tablet mode, switch to mobile mode and make the adjustments I'm making. Now that we have successfully made our WordPress slider section completely responsive, let's proceed further. Next, select the swiper slide and duplicate as many slides as you needed. Now change the content of all the duplicate slides one by one.
Next, select the swiper wrapper container, then set the direction to row, and content gap to 0 pixels. Now insert an HTML widget just below the heading. Then paste the custom Elementor slider code snippet within it. By the way you can grab the code snippet from the description, but before that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Now you can see that our swiper slider is fully functional. Let me explain a few key points in the Elementor slider code snippet. First and foremost, we achieved this slider animation effect by using a popular and advanced library known as the swiper slider. By the way I'm only going to explain the code snippet superficially, if you want to learn more about the swiper slider, please watch another video on my channel on the same topic, the link is provided in the description. You can also visit swiperjays.com for further insights. Once the swiper slider website will load, then you can go through these options. Now, let's go back to the Elementor editor page. Here on the very top, we have a swiper slider CDN link. And this is the jQuery CDN link. If you have already added the jQuery CDN link on the same page, then you can remove this link from here. Now here are some CSS variables. This code block is for the appearance of the slider pagination. And this one is for the appearance of the slider pagination bullets. Here this code block is for the hover effect of this client logo section. Now down here, you will get some JavaScript and jQuery code snippets for our slider. Now, we have successfully created our Elementor WordPress slider. Guys, I just want to let you know that it took me almost 15 hours to make this video for you, so please like and subscribe, it will only take you 2 seconds, and if you are facing any problems, please let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.